All right, hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Boy CJD Braves. Another video, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on Unending Tempest. We are going to be trying out this SMG from the Crucible. I got fluted barrel, accurized rounds. I'm going to be using dynamic sway reduction. Tap the trigger with one quiet moment. It's got a range master. We don't have it fully upgraded, but we got it most of the way, almost uh, there, with a backup mag. 69 range, 46 stability, 38 handling, 19 reload with 58 aim assist, and 85 recoil direction with 30 round mag. We're going to see how it does. I really liked how Adjudicator played, so this same archetype, so let's see how this one does. I'll meet you guys when we get into the game. Alright, here we go into the control on the fortress. If you guys do enjoy this weapon review, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. So let's get right into it. We're going to be using Storm Collar, of course. Going to see how much we can... And yes, I know, looking at the weapon, I got like multiple perks in each column. It's a very busy screen when you look at the perk loadout, but... That's okay. As long as we have some of the perks that we need, that's all that really matters. Throw down. Okay, first kill. Oh, ah, I couldn't get out of that static code. Had us right down the lane. never really been a fan of this map just because I feel like it's a lot of ring around the rosy great we're gonna do what we can and I did not like our positioning and I fell off that little rampway into my death Got you. There we go. Let's push for C. Ooh, not liking where we're at. Got that. I really wanted that last one over there. Hey, we got an assist though. Alright, got a little assist there. They're going to be getting A. Let's push over there. Got another assist. We take those any day of the week. Another five streak. 55 to 27. Let's go ahead. Let's kind of just get in the middle. See where they're going. I'm stuck in the middle now. Note to self, don't go in the middle of the map. Especially when it's an, a more open middle part of the map. Got you. Got you. Another one. Pushing in towards B. I don't have the health. <laughs> 
doing pretty good this game. We've doubled their score. We got six minutes left. The SMG feels pretty smooth right now. I like the dynamic sway tap the trigger combo. It's been working out really well. We've been able to also get some kills at a range with this weapon, which is always a good thing. Ah, uh, I couldn't get the other one. But we will get an assist after putting a couple shots in. We have our super now. Go ahead and try to utilize it well. If we even get a chance. I mean, so far we've been just absolutely shredding with this SMG. Get a rift, get a rift. Reload. You're down. Got you. We have a power play. Throwing grenade. Getting that kill easily. We're amplified. I'm getting the hell out of there. <laughs> Run. Ah, oh, dang it. We ran right into someone else. Oh, that's okay. Let's get by in this barricade for a second. Get a little over shield. Bam! That is game 150 to 60. Wow, that SMG felt crisp. Of course, we're going to take our time in orbit, gather the pros and the cons, and then discuss the weapon. 27 kills with 16 on zone advantage, 4 on a power play with 3 3 8 combat efficiency. So I will go ahead and meet you guys back in orbit. Let's break down the pros and the cons for the Unending Tempest. Starting with the pros, uh, let's open up the actual screen. We have range, stability. I really like this for uh, this 600 RPM precision frame archetype for SMGs. I think it just plays really great all around from all the SMGs I've used that are this archetype. Uh, easy to get so if you are a newer player returning player if you don't feel like going into the dungeon or if you don't have a team to go into a dungeon to get adjudicator this is a great supplement for that weapon and it's in that same kinetic slot the only thing different is this does stasis damage handling i thought played very well recoil direction mag size and of course the roll with tap the trigger and dynamic sway just played fantastic the only real con that I have about that weapon is this 19 reload speed, but honestly that is fixable through the backup mag getting a little bit of extra ammo in the magazine that way you won't have to reload as much. And then also if you have the loader mods, that can really assist you there as well. So uh, it's a very, very, very minor issue, but something that can be solved pretty easily. So with that, I'm going to give this weapon a 9.5 out of 10. I think it is a fantastic choice. Highly recommend getting it. And uh, really just leaves me with one question. I mean, is 600 RPM SMGs the way to go? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.